Hello everyone, welcome back to the Green Man channel. Hope you're good and well. It's not been so long if you just tuned into my channel update video. And this video is of course my album review of the third solo album release from Jerry Cantrell, of course, of Alice in Chains fame. And uh, this album is called Brighton. It was released on Double J Music. It's just over 40 minutes in length and it's nine tracks. And um, you know, having listened to this album quite a bit now, I felt like at times, um, it not being so long ago since I listened to Rainy Fog by Alice in Chains. And I could see that songs from that album almost feel like they may have been, you know, it's like Cherry decided that, oh, I quite like playing this sort of style, uh, this cleaner style, and, you know, I want to take this direction a bit more. So it's like he decided I need to do a solo project to explore more of, of this in my taste and in, in, in this style of my playing. I might be wrong, but, but I did feel like some of these songs could fit on Rainier Fog and wouldn't necessarily feel entirely out of place. Um, of course, I'm not here to talk about Alice in Chains too much, as this is Jerry's solo work, but I did feel like there were definitely, um, you know, it feels like it could be a continuation almost of parts of Rainier Fog, not the whole album maybe, but, but parts of that album. Um, I also think that, uh, you know, as compared to, uh, you know, if you're expecting an album from Jerry of his heavier riffs, you may be a tad disappointed just because this is a cleaner, more songwriting focused album than perhaps some of those you may have gotten actually on a couple of his other solo albums. I think on Degradation Plot you got a few heavy tracks. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for the heavier Jerry Cantrell sound or even heavier Alison Chain sound, you're not really going to find that here. This is a bit more of a kind of a uh, you know, a mellower but more southern rock driven style of an album than you might otherwise, um, you know, be expecting. But that's not to its detriment. The album has a really good flow to it, actually. It's a very cohesive album from Jerry Cantrell. Um, I think the songwriting is, is probably one of the strengths. You know, some really good songs on here are pretty memorable um, from the first song, The Tone, which has a grungier, you know, one of the grungier, slightly dronier feels to it on the album. Um, and you get another other tracks like uh, Black Hearts and Evil Done, um, which perhaps have a bit more of that sort of country country influence within them. Um, personally, I loved Had to Know. I think it was Had to Know, um, which was slightly more up tempo. Then, but in the middle of the track, went into this really cool sort of. Um, oh, it was just a cool change, and it had a nice bass line I think in it as well. I really liked how that went into the the final part of the of the song as well so i was a big fan of had to know and nobody breaks you really good chorus uh, i thought on that track i always like the way he writes he just writes his songs and and, and he always seems to do all that. these pre-chorus bits that jerry Cantor does i really like those um and i've noticed that in alice in chains as well I particularly enjoy that now, something I noticed as well was that Greg Pucciato was doing the backing vocals of this album. Uh, I know Greg's vocals pretty well, but I, I sometimes found those hard to, to necessarily pick out from the album at times. But apparently he was on here, but um, I, I, do, I, do, I have to say, I didn't notice Greg so much perhaps on, on, the final, on the final product here. I mean, maybe I just wasn't tuned in properly, but um, I couldn't make out Greg's vocals very well, with all his back, backing vocals as it were. Um, that's, that's because he was singing so well in synchrony uh, or in harmony even with, with Jerry's vocals. Um, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Feel free to drop in the comments, you know, where, where Greg's vocals were or, or, you know, why I might have missed them. Um, or if I'm just, you know, I don't know, just just, <laughs> just being daft. But anyway, um, yeah, I thought overall this, this was a solid album from Jerry Cantrell. Um, Really, really good songwriting, as I say, which gave the album a flow. So one track goes into another beautifully. This is one album, an album just to sit through all kind of 40 minutes of it, and it, it will go quite quickly. Um, and you'll think, you'll, you'll feel it's certainly got a familiar Cantrell feel to it on the softer, sort of more mellower southern rock side of his, I guess, his taste and his influences. Um, but as I say, it's not really to the album's detriment. It is a good, um, solid, solid album from, from uh, Mr. Cantrell. So what about a score? What about a score for this one? Well, I think that, um, you know, it doesn't have this album, as I say, it doesn't outstay its welcome. It's a good, solid, 
album. Uh, beautiful, crisp production. And I think as a score, I would give this an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10. Uh, pretty impressed by this. And I like how it is something slightly different from what we've had perhaps from, from during the past. Although, you know, it does sound familiarly uh, a, a Jerry Cantrell type release. Anyway, do you agree with my review? What did you think of this album? Was it uh, one you enjoyed? Um, as always, if you uh, enjoy the video, if you like album reviews of this sort, do feel free to like and subscribe. Um, otherwise, I hope you'll enjoy your rest of your evenings or your nights, nice, wherever you are in the world. It might just still be the afternoon or the morning. Otherwise, take care, everybody. Bye for now.